how it's picking up something there we go that is working give me one second i just need to fix the backdrop behind me because uh uh <laughs> it fell off basically part of it so i need to before it falls off of me uh, right on live stream just give me one minute We got it. We got it. We got it. <laughs> You'd be like, Avio, come on, get your shit together. I know. Um, Jimmy, we. I think we got everything we need here. Um. Hold on. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Fix the green screen. You guys like? Uh, oh my god. You know what happened when you don't stream for a few days? You just like forget what. Just all the steps that you have to take you have to do <laughs> i was literally like oh my backdrop is falling off of me i was like oh okay and now so like okay let me start at least something so you guys see something and then it's like oh okay the webcam is on surprise hello everyone welcome aboard how's everyone doing hope you all doing well as always um being safe and sound let me see who is in the chat so a few names in there before uh, Ghost Rider 115, Pilot Pili, hello sir, yeah I know right there, mm-hmm, Dougal McTavish, I used to fly this puppy in P3D and I loved it, I actually have a, a lot of fun, I have only one issue with this plane, <laughs> the F mod, and uh, hold on, let me do this, I just realized, an experimentalistic pro sometimes exaggerates all the, there oh, we go, Airport, yeah, hell no, I don't need all of that. That stupid sounds, I think they just make it way worse. Where you can put a little bit of that, that's it. There you go, just uh, there you go. Uh, it goes to the 115, welcome aboard. Noah, hello, sir, welcome aboard. Orlando Aviator, what's poppy, huh? How you doing, my friend? Uh, if you're many, I'm multitasking. You're multitask. I was multitasking too. Did not work very well though. Alaska five five nine. Good morning. Good morning to you, sir. Oh, haircut, bro. Looking sharp. I did. I get a haircut. Oh, maybe I did. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. Yeah, maybe I did. I just realized though, I look much short. Here, look at that. Oh. <laughs> Captain K Peterkin, how you doing? Welcome aboard. All right, so here we are. We are in uh, beautiful Daytona Beach. Uh, this used to be actually one of their uh, places for this route. Uh, they started flying out of Daytona to uh, SPG, which is uh, Albert Witt. Witt it? Albert Witt. It? Uh, it's a famous guy. I just forgot what he was famous for, but I, I read about him. Um, basically, St. Petersburg, so Tampa Bay, uh, that area. So we're going to cross uh, from east to west. Uh, uh, on board these uh, beautiful Lockheed uh, um, Lodestar Model 18 um, that was used by plenty of airline. I think uh, uh, TWA used it for a while, National, KLM. So, next generation flights, welcome aboard. How you doing? Um, what an aircraft. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, to be honest, the rendering, the PBRs is pretty good. Uh, uh, not a fan of these blue. I don't know if it, it was this like chromey kind of looking blue, but maybe it was. I don't know. Uh, not very many, not really many pictures in color uh, for these aircraft uh, out out there in real life. So I'm like, uh, I don't know, maybe. But um, otherwise, it's really good. I mean, look at these engine carlings. I mean, beautiful. I think it has the stellar type of. Uh, yeah, that's a stellar. So there's, you know, how we see the pistons that usually are in line. You know, if you look at the boxsters, if you look, you have this, you know, uh, opposed, uh, horizontally opposed. This is the st this is the type of engine they don't don't make anymore. Uh, I don't know who has a stellar engine anymore. Um, 
probably no one but uh it, it is uh great for cooling i mean i mean it is this this type of engines are great for cooling though to be honest uh, um you know has uh two lovely props uh, with uh and uh, it's really nice to be honest uh, this is the daytona beach international airport uh, payway scenery uh which uh i hope they will update soon because this whole uh, uh daytona 500 uh, thing has been updated completely different now um let me see i will poop my pants if i had to fly this <laughs> i want to see the cockpit i'm the only only fan yeah um but yeah everything is very well done even uh, look at the the details here uh, i think it's once you get a bit closer though you can see that you know, the texture drops a little bit but uh overall if you stay at this distance which is really good i think uh this is the distance you want to keep it when you're outside you don't you're not gonna go and eh, peek on that but um it's very well done uh it's very good on frames i'm rocking today so yesterday i realized that there was an update uh, on this plane i uh, did not know that and uh there instead of flying direct we used i i did a flight yesterday and uh, the older version has uh, no modern cockpit um but it had uh uh has a vor but you have to only you can only fly direct to the vor um imperator hello welcome aboard no it's not it's actually payware uh very good price though uh, very good for the price uh you can find the link in the link in the description below but anyway uh so we, we can only fly direct now we got this modern uh, there's a different variants uh, there's one with the gns 430 and then there's a mo one called modern uh, type of cockpit where you have uh, you can select the obs uh, uh okay um okay so we can change it now well to do that copy that uh ew see, look, look how many things we have to do never this is like streaming is not ain't easy so I, i'm gonna replace the uh, previous website is that what you're telling me i'm gonna replace it here we go I'll just replace it here we go i think i did uh you guys say uh, you should sh should see it in a bit update it but anyway all right so um i mean it has uh, plenty of animations too um the previous mo uh, model did not have a uh, obs uh, uh setting so you couldn't change the obs but um but yeah we're gonna do a quick flight uh, uh it's not long uh, uh with uh, one of these uh, routes actually this was uh originally it was daytona beach to st petersburg and then uh, they changed it to jacksonville st petersburg and twa another I think Eastern actually complain about uh, the fact that you know for competition, uh, so they're being called the Buccaneers. Uh, that should be called the Buccaneers. So for that, uh, and now and now and then, uh, National decided to call this route the Buccaneer route. You know, uh, it's funny, fun story, fun fun little story that. But um, I will still do. I will do this. We'll uh, go ahead and with you uh, go on Sky Vector show you what we're going to be doing uh the flight for today i think i can go like here in the briefer briefer room briefer no here we go oh what there you go so we're going to be here my picture is like right over here i don't know it should be no computer okay uh, you guys see me everywhere uh, should i rotate myself now okay so we there you go that's sally by the way so we are outside that sally uh, hurricane which is uh you guys are from this area uh you know hang on tight it's gonna be rough uh, but we are uh so this is a uh, space launch today happening launch? Well, not today i think oh well, anyway we are here in daytona beach and uh, we're gonna be flying okay let me put the word low here we go we're gonna be not gonna fly high actually we're gonna say it uh, a uh, thousand feet to two thousand maybe we'll see um but uh Oran beach a thousand feet sorry ten thousand feet i would say uh we're gonna go direct uh, i want to go direct sorry guys um we, I, we might do smyra and then orlando so uh orlando is one two two one one two decimal two lakeland which is a one one six decimal zero and uh, St. Peter's with a PIE, which is 116.4. They all have a cute little airway. We're going to select if we can. Let's see how that works out. Um, 
so initially we're gonna have to which we're gonna be doing it now we're gonna write everything off for you guys for you for me guys because um yeah, hopefully they will have the same plane for uh you know microsoft that would be great to fly this plane on microsoft to be honest so, um so initial initially will be uh the smyra so smyra it's located actually 19 nautical miles uh, from the orman vor so we're gonna set orman orman vor and uh, which is uh uh one one uh i think it's one one two point six i believe one one two point six that's my own hometown vor basically because pancos is here but yeah one one two point six and it's gonna be on the radio one sixteen on a 116 radio okay which is uh, 19 nautical miles we're gonna get some, to smyra which is basically over new smyrna beach here we go that being said we're gonna hop on the uh um well it's not really an airway but uh, uh you can locate uh, uh we can go to oki actually um oki okay and then Okay, which is okay. I see twenty nine, and then from there we're gonna switch to the Orman v uh, Orlando V O R, Orlando V O R, which is uh, uh, one one uh, two point two, one one two point two, on the radial zero four nine outbound here we go uh okay give you a flight directive with uh some trouble here uh we're gonna, gonna go 227 radio 227 after we pass it um all the way uh we don't need even we don't even need to switch vors here but we can switch it at the flag uh, usually there's a little flag once you see the flag that's when you switch your vor um but yeah we can uh, continue with this uh, on the radio uh what, what real does it why did you say 227 yeah 227 and then uh, it's the lakeland which is 116.0 uh radio 49 i believe yeah 46 still 46 is the same airway basically it's one big airway older if you think about it because it changes only a little bit from lakeland okay victor 441 okay which is pie and is on one one six point four and it's the what radio is that 87 okay that being said as we can go ahead and continue and then uh, literally it's over here uh the uh, airport is over here uh, i think there's a match going on baseball match so if we're just gonna what we're gonna be doing uh come over down here actually we're not gonna go over here because the uh, tampa international is right here uh we have to avoid mcadale air force base we cannot overfly that so we're gonna go around here and then come down like this okie dokie that's being set i don't see the chat near to go just can i see the cockpit before okay i'm sorry you wanted to see the cockpit i apologize live scene uh, it ain't easy guys to okay so the cockpit is there you go that's the cockpit a very ever like an old looking cockpit as you guys can see it has the 3d dials and everything so that is nice it is a nice touch um mostly everything is uh working actually all all these uh uh circuit breakers are actually working too um uh really really well done uh, i do enjoy this plane uh, actually a lot so claudio airways hello welcome aboard how you doing have a good flight thank you appreciate it uh let me see who else is in here all right bro i'm gonna head off i'll catch you landing safe all okay, right man don't worry uh how can you up know how to fly all those aircraft uh i read a lot of manuals um and uh especially about engines i love knowing a little bit more about the engines and uh, once i read them uh, uh i read the old manuals that comes with the plane every plane you buy you even freeware usually has a manual it's very interesting too um 
Uh, let me see who else. Someone said something. I just you put my performance mode here. Go. Um, next gen says it's very interesting that you go through the plan explaining the radials and the charts. I've never seen someone going in. Ah, right. again, that's my uh commercial pilot coming out. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, before we're gonna go. I'm gonna load the plane. So unfortunately, there is not really a loading thing. So we're gonna just do like this. Uh oh, well that's a but that's fine. We'll take it. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. There's a lot of uh, okay. Fuel. We are good with that fuel. Actually, we don't need to do any tankering or anything. So uh, go ahead apply the changes. Uh, we're gonna head and start the battery. Here we go. The battery's come up here. All right. And uh, lights on. Okay, everything is good. Avionics. So we'll turn it on for now. But uh, we actually could keep it off. To be honest. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna be doing is close the door. Okay, everything is fine over here. Uh, we keep that. I uh, mind then. Uh, uh, everything's fine. It's very easy to straightforward to start it to be honest. Uh, uh, you know, it's not really talking about turbo props, it's actually a piston engine, so uh Okay. Alright. It has a supercharge here. Uh well you know that's what we want to see we can see you're full of passion and oh thank you appreciate it thank you for saying all these nice kind words all right so we're gonna put the full tank on boat one it's a bit dark the cockpit uh, to be honest i noticed that it, it is a little bit dark about the same time okay you guys want to see also the cabin maybe that's a cute little cabin here very old style you guys can see uh has a little curtains and not bad cabin to be honest it's pretty good dude. not a bad looking cabin uh not the best cabin probably for the wing views because this plane is kind of all messed up yeah i can see it has the steps here very old type of cabin look 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 pretty nice so uh sepa sign on and i believe see the even the signs actually turned on as you can see so that's pretty cool addition lucas casa hello welcome aboard how you doing with the little curtains i love it yeah <laughs> all right so then we got that uh we, what we're gonna be doing now we're gonna go ahead and set up uh, uh the uh, starting procedure once we start the engines we can go ahead uh generators on i think that will help uh i think and then there you go i think we are Okay, headset on. Have you any master switch is good? Uh, let's see if I can bring some of the lights up a little bit. Nah. Oh, what do you have? Okay, uh, Windows the I said no. We got this transponder over here. Okay, so the thing we're going to be doing is. uh i think i got it right this time yeah generated okay all right so let's go come down here and here's where you have your ignition okay and uh, i put it on both uh pull it pull ignition and then put it on both okay all right now this is where you have to start you're gonna start the edges so we're gonna have to do a few things uh, i'm gonna prime it Okay. I don't know why these fuel pumps make this sound even when you turn them off, but I think it's the pump that start working or turning it off. I don't know, it's pretty weird, but and then we just go ahead and should be able to start the engine now. Um let me see. We need to bring the prop full forward. Okay.
and you have to, to remove the to remove everything you need to press over here so that's how you get it is let me know when the volume is too high i think it's a bit too that too high there you go i think we're good now Uh, I'm a big fan of the retro aircraft so food. I'm gonna try it and then I don't want this one by watching you <laughs> I know the P38 came out so I wonder if the P3 You know you can open the door close the windows now Avionics, okay generators Aha. What did I do wrong? Let me see Uh Okay, avionics. <sighs> okay, everything is fine over here. Uh let's see that's the carb heat that's the uh, tail uh trying to get the edge oh here okay that should be a dot okay power on okay something is not right <laughs> there you go Pito, Pito generators are on though. You know, probably because when I, I switched the master thing over here, I might have screwed the thing up just to show you guys something and then. Uh, well, we can still fly this plane old school. It's not that we really need anything here. Uh, that works, so that's good. Mm hmm give me one second I need to figure out what I did wrong people signs okay sir oh no 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 you already did that don't screw things up Pito. ha <laughs> What that? Uh, okay, so the light works, so it's not really a problem that. ADF is there. Am I missing something? What am I missing? Maybe see the failures. I probably fix this. Let me see. Gotta go. Alright, man. Okay. I literally started the engine yes uh, yesterday, and there was no issues. So I don't know what's going on here. Okay. It's just the avionics that doesn't want to turn on. Okay, looks like it's better. Okay, now it works. There you go, I got it. Don't know what happened there. Just all I have to do is reset the avionics again. Okay. All right. So we got the avionics. Uh, the transponder was set uh, to 1000 because we still have the IFR. I keep it on. on. There you go. Uh, 1 to 2 that simulated on the frequency. That's uh, VOR. Was actually, we're going to put the Omen 112.6 first. One one two point six, and the standby. I'm gonna put the Orlando. Yeah, it's a paywall. It's a paywall. 
Orlando on uh, one one two decimal two. One one two decimal two on nav one. We're gonna go ahead and put the Lakeland, which is one one six. No, here one one six decimal zero, I believe. So, yeah, and uh, PIE one one six point four, which is already in there. That's cute. Okay, so we got the engine started. Uh, we're gonna go ahead. Uh, we don't need carb heads or anything. Uh, but I want to set up uh, the altitude selector. There you go. Let's do ten thousand feet. That should do. Uh, okay. Vertical speed. thousand feet per minute that should be good are you okay bye right, Krish welcome aboard okay so we got that we got uh, everything we need We're double checking everything it's fine okay well uh, let's see we do have uh, nav one so uh, Ormond Beach is already picking up uh, what we're gonna be doing is gonna put the set the radial 116 uh, there you go There you go. Okay. All right. So okay, that is set. Uh, I don't think we can set the VOR two. There's only one VOR, but uh, we can use the VOR two here by looking at it. We'll uh, we'll see the the thing moving. So we'll keep an eye on that uh, miles anyway. All right. So we got supercharge one. Flight controls. an issue with my controls because my yoke is broken so I, I I don't have the money to fix the yoke yet <laughs> um, ah I would like to see how do I get my yoke back here probably yeah there you go I want to see the movement see it does not go up oh, okay now yes no see I'm pushing okay now now it's working okay so that's why sometimes you guys see me taking off and it's not taking off because uh, a yoke is not working. All right, so we got what we need. Park brakes off. Okay, everything is fine here. Yeah, well, we're good over here. Uh, let me see the weather though. We need to check the weather. The Daytona Beach is reporting 140 at 4. Few clouds, the tower cumuling. Okay, 10 statue miles, so winds, okay. 2998, we set 2998. 2998 set. And the winds are uh, 140 at 4. Turn on the beacon before. Oops.
There's a lot of toe break action to move this plane, by the way. Let me reduce the volume outside at least, because otherwise you guys be like, what the hell? I know technically the taxiway is not available because uh, part of the taxiway is not available because they're doing some work. A taxi on a tail dragger ain't easy. Slight crosswind, basically. Matik, uh, welcome aboard. No, it's not free. Not free. Right, flaps are set. To We don't need a whole runway, so... Cabin crew, please be seated for departure. Okay, let me do this autopilot off uh heading selector we're gonna be doing uh, well runway heading for are we doing runway heading for it all yeah mm, i guess so uh thing zero seven zero
Nah. That's manually. Oh, I shouldn't go the other way, dummy. Captain Reynolds, good day. Welcome aboard. How are you doing? What do you think about the Oxford Aviation Academy in, Brus in Brussels? I'm planning going there. Oxford Aviation Academy is a really good one. Black Sea Brazil, hello. Welcome aboard. How are you doing? Okay, so we got what we need. Uh, V-lock. We are on a V-lock. Okay, we don't need to even look at that, to be honest. Uh, tanks are good. Uh, trim, I'll set it to neutral. Caution. I don't know why all your messages let's in Brazil are coming up as spam, but no you're not. Okay, it's time to go. Approaching zero seven left. I think it's clear. So hard to maneuver this on plane on the ground. Zero seven left. Let's get it aligned. We have a long runway, so make sure props move forward. Okay, tail came up. Nice. Gear up. No pie Krish, no. Bring back the power a little bit. Okay. Alright, so we're good over here. So what we're gonna be doing We'll still head to the water a little bit. Darn it, I hate this though. This is why I hate this because I'm not looking outside. I can't see the the attitude of the plane by doing this. As a matter of fact, see? In real life you can know you know it because you can feel it. You feel the G's and hey the plane is climbing. Okay, so let's do That doesn't seem like a uh, 182. Hey. 
That's not south. We're going north. Okay, let me see this. Okay, back to normal. Now we're good. We had to sync. We had to sync that. It was not synchronized. I'm like, I know. I know you don't go north that way. And you don't go south that way. I'm like, okay. But let's have a little view of Daytona Beach Shores. The pier. Uh, the, re the center. Whatever, the conference center. Where the UFC was held a couple days ago. Uh, the Hard Rock Cafe is actually here. Uh, the slingshot is here. Here you go. The, the wheel and the, the pier is here. Uh, let's put ourselves next. Come, let's get to the 116, though. We want to align with 116, so. It's this Victor Airway, so. Yeah, I heard about the flag five to seven eight seven. I was like, uh, okay. I, I thought we, I thought he would, they would be fixing the A three twenty first uh, and uh, update the triple seven, but I guess not. It's, I mean, I'm happy. I mean, seven eight seven is good uh, if I, you know. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about how I feel about the news. You know. So we're going to do it to Smyra, so. Yeah, we already got the Mad Knight, true. Yeah, if they're making old version, that's fine. But will they? There's a full deflection there that we need to get back to that. Eight thousand feet. Okay. Dugo McTavish coming in with the sponsorship uh, membership. My bad. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Join. Thank you for joining the Cat One and supporting the channel, my dear friend. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. As always, you're always like that. Thank you. Appreciate it, my friend. Don't worry. It's good. Are we gonna die today, Avian man? I don't know. We'll see. I set it to radio one one six, so we're waiting for the diffraction now. Uh, but uh, it should be actually giving me the right. So what's Ormond Beach? Is uh, Ormond Beach was one one two. Ormond Beach is one one two point six. Uh, radio one oh one sixty one. Darn it. Oh, uh, we are right on the radio now, so it's time to adjust that 161.
Okay, we are at 10,000. Now we, let it, we are inside a cloud. Okay, we can uh, show where Smyra is going to be. Uh, 19, uh, actually, yeah, 19 miles. So, so once we hit 19 miles, that we're gonna be. That's where we know we're gonna be over Smyra. Let's see. Okay, so it's an indicating a from indication. We do have a little deflection, but you guys can see. We'll have to adjust for the winds. As you can see, it's getting over. So what we're going to have to find... That's always like that. You always need to find... You know, 17 miles. 18 miles. So probably a little bit more. Right, uh, 18. Then 29 miles. Let me see. You know, probably... Small correction to see where you know this is where the plane is. So that we pass Myra, I think. Yes, yeah, Myra, 19 miles. So the next one is 29 miles. Okay, and we'll have to get. Uh, we'll turn a minute before. You can switch to time a minute. See. Oh, I saw that. I saw the weather engine. So it's too loud. I don't know why. It's like way too loud. Way too loud. They need to fix the F mod though. But I-95 South over here There we go they do about 200 knots so we can bring back a little bit the power and everything so twenty four miles so we could be ready to switch uh, and set the heading so uh, the next one is uh, zero four nine two two nine heading to nine at least okay I'm gonna start the turn now so we don't shoot over two to nine. Two to nine set. We're gonna go ahead and uh, change. Flip this to 112.2, which is the old land of EOR. Uh, and we select uh, uh, 049, I believe. Actually, two, we can fly two two nine two. There you go. A little bit too much, probably. We overcorrected. Oh uh, no, we actually should be good. See the deflection. We might have to correct a few degrees. Well, let's start. Right, five degrees probably should be good. There you go. It's always been pretty safe. I, at the beginning, it was uh, it was giving me a crash, but it was not because of Vulcan. It was actually X Pilot. Look at these clouds, actually, these clouds are pretty. These are freeware clouds. So today, these are the clouds that are. Um, these are the ASHA. So it's a freeware plugin. Um, you know, and uh, 
And the free well, look at this. They look pretty pretty neat, I think. Can you guys hear the plane or not? Let me know, okay? Makes a deflection. Well, still like a five. There's ten degrees off, so we're good. Okay, we're two and we're twenty-one miles. Let's see if it starts moving. Yep, yeah, start moving. So let's correct again. We just. Let's see, two, three, nine. Are we doing two hundred thirty knots over the ground? So that is pretty good. No, too quiet inside now. Okay, so I need to fix that. So I guess you have to work with the exterior. So the, now the the exterior model, the exterior of the engine, they still come out on the on inside the plane, so. Nav 1 says 15 miles, uh, uh, Nav 2, it's set to um, Lakeland. It's 63 miles, uh, so 14 miles, so we should be get there in 3 minutes. Okay, so let's, uh, let's do that. Let's see where we at now. We are 14 miles, uh, which uh, should takes us over Oviedo, actually. We should be over Oviedo. Yes, Oviedo, because it's uh, 13 miles Oviedo. <laughs> so nice to know your area. <laughs> and so the last stretch, it's Orlando. And from Orlando, we're going to continue over to Lakeland, which is a straight line, basically. Is the radio 046 that's what we have to go a little now that once you get closer to the uh vor the precision you know gets uh, better so it's very hard then to keep that deflection correct once you get the closer you get to the vor the more you see that to deflect left or right and that's because uh, the the cone of imprecision gets smaller and smaller if you think about the ils the same if you look at the cone it goes like further down it's pretty wide then once you get closer and closer it gets super super uh, precise so uh that's what we are actually in now See, it's gonna go. It's gonna, it's gonna switch very fast. It's not like before. Remember, remember when we were before over there, we did not have that issue, and that is because uh, you get this uh, cone of imperfection, basically. So let's say two two nine. Let's get it back to a couple degrees off. There we go. Uh, the sounds are much better, hopefully now. the sounds outside are horrible six miles out so what are we doing we're gonna switch to the VOR uh, frequency which is uh, um, 116 54 miles, okay.
So let's go 226 on that, on the OBS. 226. That's when we switch the VOR and we are perfectly aligned with that, I believe. Well, we'll see now because now we are far away. So 226 is this radio. As you can see, we are 10, 15, 10 to 5 degrees off. Uh, the reason why is again, uh, once you get closer to the VOR, to the station, uh, that thing gets uh, much more precise. So. We are over Erland International now, but... This is crazy that I cannot select the sounds like the way I want. Oh, we had 10,000 feet. We could have turned off the lights, by the way. And now it's super quiet, though, inside, right? I really don't understand why. Maybe we should open a window. <laughs> uh, we are 10,000 feet, so we know that we are uh, suffering, but probably there's a limitation here. Uh, 231, uh, expect uh, 12 minutes. <laughs> 228 over the ground. Really not bad at all. Uh, engine gauges looks everything fine to me. We're doing 25 uh, RKI, 26 RPM. And not overstressing the engine, so that is uh, bueno. Fuel, uh, full, full fuel. Uh, fuel flow is good. Hydraulics are good. Landing gear, hydraulic pressure is good. Uh, fuel tank are good. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I really enjoy flying. Uh, I mean, I, I love enjoying props. I just love them because uh, it's not only about set up the trust and then that's it. You go. It's all about also setting up uh, your power levers, your trust lever. Sorry, your um, mixture, your prop lever. Uh, there's much more to do and of course the more the high every time you change your altitude these values changes too so you need to keep adjusting it keeps you you know awake right, so now we need to see there's a little bit of deflection so we're gonna go and correct small corrections as you can see we are off oh we did pretty good though look at that we did pretty good Except for this last part, well, we were far away from the VOR, though. Let's see, uh, should go parallel, we can go... So, yeah, mouse to go. Could just turn two more, two more degrees. So it is VATSIM friendly, this plane, as you guys can see. Uh, you have your basic, you can also set up your GPS, and if you don't want to deal with VORs, and have load the flight plan on it, you know, and just enjoy the flight. But if you want to enjoy the actual flying of this plane, I think you need to fly VOR. Garden. Careful, don't bump into that. Oh, one of my cats, Garden. She she went blind uh, last week, so it's so bad for her because 
you know what you know what's that f I, it's not a feeling that I, I don't understand the feeling so i don't know how if you can feel it you know but the fact that you one day you can see everything you're just super active walking a lot running uh, from left and right and the other day you're just like blind or you can't see Poor girl. Yeah. As you can see, as I said before, uh, the the uh, outside view does not have a great sound pack, to be honest. I mean, this, uh, the sound the sounds are great, but there's no uh you know the distance is you know it's still the same every time i still have the deflection that the okay so we'll have to do a couple more it's not a full deflection so we're good you know half a deflection there so look at these <laughs> Look at this. It's a beautiful plane, to be honest. Uh, I wish they fixed the F mod. Maybe someone can come up with an F mod to let them know. Uh, we should let FT Sim know about this. That'd be great to have a good F mod for this. There you go. Mind your step. Don't know where the flight attendants are. Okay, the galley is here. Well, some sort of galley. Probably, well, this is not used for very long flights, to be honest. So I, I see where it's like. Mm. Is there anything here? Looks like a luggage compartment almost. Um, not really a luggage compartment there. But uh, how you guys feel if they brought back the seats, like uh, one facing another, on commercial flights? Not private jets. I know private jets they do. But what do you guys feel about that? Well, the, for, they won't do it because there's no way you can fit all those people by having the seats like that. But it's kind of cute though to have it like that. Isham zero zero one, welcome aboard. How you doing, Isham? Okay, we're 23 miles from uh, uh, the Lakeland VOR. Uh, we still have a deflection, so let's correct a couple more degrees. I believe the sweet spot is the previous heading. Because now we'll have to show what the previous heading was a sweet spot. So two, three, three degrees to the left. Once we hit that perfectly aligned uh, heading we're just gonna i'm doing great thank you for asking aisha yeah i just wanted to do a li morning live stream because uh, i had to do some work after that so see how it is getting center once it's perfectly center which will be happening in a few moments um we will switch to heading uh uh 237 i believe that should have us uh, with the that should correct us from the wind deviation so that looks pretty aligned to me now let's see so this I have uh, I have an exam in two days. Oh, what is that about? What what was that exam about, my friend? Two three seven. I think two three seven was the perfect, the sweet spot. Yep, yep. Two 
Now, now that we are over Lakeland, we need to keep an eye, though. Uh, Lakeland is not far away from uh, SPG. Um, do we have it in alt mode? Yeah, alt mode is on. Uh, this thing also recreate ice. If you have icing condition, it will show up over here on the window. Uh, but I wanted to do... We are how many miles from Lakeland? Uh, 14 miles from Lakeland. We'll keep going with that. Uh, 262. And over Lakeland, we'll start our descent. Yeah, sorry guys, I was like uh, yawning like crazy. Uh, it's mad exam. It's easy, easy lemon squeezy. <laughs> Captain Flight, hello sir. Welcome aboard. How you doing? Good to see you on board. Yeah, everything is good. Uh, we need to set up the altimeter setting though. You seem to be tired. I was uh, I was uh, yawning because uh, um, I get um. I mean, I get some sleep, but uh, not not a lot. But okay, K uh, lal. Let me see Lakeland VOR. So it's giving us a two nine and nine and eight, which is the same setting. Uh, K S P G, uh, which is Albert Witted. Albert Witted is giving us a two nine nine and eight. Same pressure all the way from east to west. Great. Right, if we found a nicer bar, uh, 150 at 30 knots, so that's where we'll have oh, deflection, deflection, deflection. We got a little bit off. Well, now we're getting very close to the uh, to the VOR. So, once you get very close to the VOR, you're gonna start doing that. Um, what's the what is the aircraft name? It's the Lockheed Lodestar. I think it should be on uh, down below too. But kilo, uh, okay, SPG. So we have to do runway one eight probably. That's a short runway though. There's a hundred degrees difference, so So if we do one eight, uh, we have to approach for the north RNAV, uh, VOR, H Well, we can do this One one six point four. But we can switch now. One one six point four. Anyway, so one one six decimal four. Oh shoot, that one one six decimal four. Thirty seven miles. Uh, we're gonna go direct to that. Actually, no. Uh, let me see. Now we have full deflection though because uh, we are going to run. okay charts IFR oh only have okay great Okay, so it's uh, two six two six seven.
I have to make a little bit more aggressive turn here because we missed uh, a little bit to turn. Fed AM, welcome aboard. How you doing? Good, good to see you here. All right, and uh, as Dougal McTavish said, thank you. I'm just uh, sorry about that. I'm all over the place. But as Dougal McTavish said, make sure to check the website down in the description below or if you click directly click the website that the Dougal McTavish posted www.simwingsupports.org slash events you'll be able to find out a little bit about our group flight coming up uh, the 26th of uh, this month so it's a saturday at 19 zulu so make sure you tune in into the simwings channel youtube channel uh, you can find everything on the disc in the in the uh, uh, on the website and there's a chance if you participate to the group flight uh, there's a chance to win a 25 dollars voucher uh for any of you guys wants to join so and there's a if you do the challenge and everything then you might win it who knows uh yeah we need to get a little bit closer to that and uh, we'll just start descend to roll but descending we're gonna be doing uh uh let's get down to five thousand And you'll hold it 2700 okay let's do 5000 Tampa Bay over there in front of us. There you go. Yo, nothing much, my friend. Really, nothing much. We're just having a lot of fun flying this bird today. Uh, really, really fun. No, we're proceeding direct to the VOR, basically, but... Uh, nav one is set to what? Am I setting it right? Nav one is set to one one six point four, which is St. Pete. Nav two is set to Lakeland. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So Lenny lights can come on. Ladies and gentlemen, we start out descending to uh, Albert with the St. Petersburg Clearwater Airport. At this point, please return to your seat and fasten your seatbelt. Uh, we'd be expecting to land in about 15 minutes. Very nice weather over St. Pete uh, with 28 degrees Celsius. Uh, um, light winds. Not very really light, but. Oh, we're back on track so two six seven i don't want to mess that one up yet there we go six nine should be do good for now i was here this weekend actually i, I was in tampa this weekend with some friends uh friends of us yes some friends of us invited us over uh, beautiful Tampa. We might consider Tampa as a place to go to actually live. Uh, Tampa International is here. Uh, okay, that's Tampa. I want to say we were north side of Tampa. We were around here. We were somewhere around here. Actually, yes, we were somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. That's where we were. Look at the animation. Yeah, you, we were. This is where we were staying. Literally, not too far. Tampa International was there. Uh, have you heard of, of Shadow PC? I've just pre-ordered it. No, what is that? Is that where you stream 
New games. Seven thousand. That's the mecha mecha deal base. I like how the smoke comes out to the combustion. Seven thousand. Getting down. We are eleven miles out. Bring the power back. This copy gauge reflection looks weird. Uh, not really. They look pretty old. The old ones are, re are actually like that, I think. There you go. If you want to keep it, we can keep it this way. Yeah. I agree. You might be right. Yeah, they gave you a 1080, 16. Okay, motherboard. And yep. Sweet. You need a good 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 computer though uh good uh, internet connection but uh, one one okay we need to be, get ready for the next uh, for the approach so over here have a tab we bring in uh 164 One six four. We should be reaching less than a minute, so we should go now. Uh, we should start our turn. I believe we should start our turn. Bring the power back. Yeah, let's start it now. Well, uh, we're way too high, but we're doing a visual. did undershoot yeah we did undershoot so we no we're not on massive but we had the visual with the runway uh but we're way too high so make sure prop full forward A little bit steeper approach, I know that though. Huh? Get down, that will help. The there you go. Let's see if we can stop this. Make sure props will forward. Landing gear down. Three green. Two green. Two greens, not three. <laughs> Flaps down. A bit higher on the poppy, so it's a short runway. We need to get it back. 
too high. Too high. Then the moment you drop that power, it, it falls off the sky. Approaching one eight. Dion, welcome aboard. Hail to all. Hello, sir. Welcome aboard. Too high. Too high. Uh, shut up. We're good. There's a new pier here now in front of it. You can't. They didn't model it here, but uh, I think they opened in July. But we went to see the pier. Actually, it was pretty nice. Unstable. Unstable. Your mom is unstable. This plane did not have a RAS or anything. At this time, if the co-pilot was telling me to shut, I would just, as a commander, I would say, shut up. I feel like low now. Here we go. That's why. No, I'm keeping this. I'm gonna keep this attitude. I'm sorry, guy. Because the moment I drop that speed, I know this thing was gonna plunge to the ground. Ah, a little bit of cross, oh, quite a bit of crosswind. My bad. Well, we got that mark over there. Let's long see. landing, long landing, two thousand feet remaining. Not a very soft landing, but. No clue what the landing rate was. 280. I think I think it, we can take 280. I never know how to turn this plane around because Like now I'm stuck. Uh, I can't even separate the two. Why? <laughs> I 
That was funny. Uh, differential. I cannot do differential power. Unfortunately, it looks like I, I try. It doesn't. It doesn't work. Drifting. Is this plane has inside view? Oh my God, oh, yeah, Salim. Of course. Forgot about you and your inside views. Has the new FS twenty twenty come out uh, this week? Uh I haven't touched FS twenty twenty in a while. To be honest with you, so can't really tell i need to check i want to i want to bring fs 2020 this week though i want to say the terminal is over there because uh, that's where the dolly museum is so Ready for that? Much better. Left and right are clear. That's good enough for me. Spot brakes on. Uh, hey, park brakes on. Uh, flaps up. Everything is up. Uh, avionics can come off. I mean, switch is off. Okay, everything is good. Make sure it cut off. Uh, the weird sounds when you cut off the engines. That's the only thing. Oh, but you can supercharge on. Off. Off. Uh, everything looks fine here. Collector off, off, there you go, that's good. And gens off, lights. Beetle's off, now lights off, beacon lights off, uh, everything is off, uh, generators are off. You uh, pump back out. Battery off, box on, door open. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to SPG Albert with it. That's in uh, Saint Pete Clearwater. So we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing a quick replay. Here we go. Uh, can I even do it without having? No, I'll have to turn it off. Okay, I need to get rid of everything. So get rid of this. Let's get rid of this, and now we can do the replay. Here we go. Too many button. I don't know, man. I don't know why he's not streaming. I mean, I know but he's busy. I know he's very busy. How many bats on that? A lot. Too many. K 
Captain Gio, morning to you, my friend. Welcome aboard. How you doing? How are you, the newborn, all your kids, your family? How's everyone? FYI, to me anyway, at the moment, it just loaded to no indication on updates at this time. Maybe Thursday. Maybe, maybe Thursday. We got a crosswind. You can see the waves that he tells you the crosswind. I was like heading to the marks. I think we hit the marks though. We did, did we? Yeah, we did. We hit the marks. A little bomba class style, but. I hate the sounds though Way too loud, way too loud <laughs> truck driving I need to I need to get the what do you get for the truck driving what do you use I hope not mouse and keyboard right I need to buy some stuff but I need to fix my yoke first been a many combat attack landing yeah <laughs> yeah that's it's like down to the ground uh, but I believe at that time uh, I don't think pilots were really concerned about butter the landings. Uh, uh, these planes were made to, you know, land it, just put it down. They're robust, you know. Uh, you know, it's not that they will have uh, ceiling panels coming down or anything. They were made for very rough uh, terrains and type of runway. So. It doesn't seem bad. The sound inside though is really nice. Captain Reynolds, oh, Captain Reynolds, welcome back. I pulled the dugal again. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know how much those things are though I'll take the land to be honest. Let me see what view I didn't do. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is the time where 
we we are sh today we're doing a very short flight because uh, i have to go back to work now so i want to say thank you for everyone for tuning in i feel like this plane is like a, kind of like a c47 um the uh uh dc3 ugly dc3 i would say the dc3 i think it's much better looking but what do you guys think i think it's a very good looking plane but it's very similar to the dc3 a performance why i don't know though um but thank you so much again for yeah work work uh we'll uh, come back again tomorrow i don't know if tomorrow we'll be doing another retro or we go back to normal uh, i do enjoy the retro week uh, what do you, you guys let me know in the comment section below or anyways uh, in chat uh, uh, what you guys feel like about the retro type of uh, flying uh we do have i think uh, one or two um flights i wanted to test it out but i need to check a little bit uh, uh that aircraft i have if it were actually worth if it's working or not you know last time it was updated to vulcan but i before even that was not even usable so um again thank you so much for tuning in appreciate you all uh thank you for sticking out with me i know this is a weird time for every one of you especially uh for uh, all my friends in the east and west coast of the united states uh, i tend to stream in the afternoon uh, or afternoon actually so um but yeah thank you so much again as always be safe uh, wash your hands uh, follow your government directors uh, social distance and uh, be kind to one another every man is out blue skies everyone take care now Gravity pulls you straight down